Okay, before we get started, let's do a quick little review of your area so you know where everything is. Okay, so let's just go from like one end to the other end and kind of talk about what we have here. Starting over on this side, normally we'll have the two books here, the two uh, sewing school books. Those are for levels two and three. There might be some patterns there underneath it, and they kind of stay right there just so they're easy access for those students that are working on the higher levels. Uh, we then sometimes somewhere on here, you'll find the pin cushion. This is where when you need pins to pin your fabric together, you take a pin from here and you put it back in there, okay? It's just a simple little pin cushion that I made that every sewing machine has one of these next to it, but that's where you take and put back pins. There's also more pins available if you need to have more pins for your project, but that should be somewhere near the sewing machine as well. Here's the sewing machine, and in this case, it's been slid forward, so let me just move it a little bit closer to me. And then later on in the training videos, you're going to figure out how, or I'm going to show you how uh, to turn on the sewing machine. Uh, next to the sewing machine is the one box that we keep up here. It's called the, the sewing stuff box. And this is where you'll find everything that you need uh, for your projects uh, without fabric. Okay, so these are all the other non-fabric things. Uh, I've got my scissors in here, the special sewing scissors, which we will talk about. Uh, the rulers in here, and then each bag is kind of labeled. So here is a big bag full of elastics, uh, a bag full of ribbon. Uh, you get the idea. So if you're like, okay, I need to uh, get some thread, you just go through here until you find the thread bag or uh, zippers and buttons and Velcro, all those things. Tools is one you're going to use a lot. There's the marking chalk is in there, uh, more pins and stuff. Well, no, there's a whole box bag for pins. Just other little things that you might need uh, for tools are in there, and like here's needles. So you get the idea, and please, 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 all of this, keep it very organized. It's easy for all this to turn to chaos. So when I give you kind of like the five minute, hey, it's time to clean up, make sure you, you clean it all up and even make it better than what you got it, okay? So really make sure everything goes back into its bags and everything goes back into the sewing stuff box. Okay, let's move down a little bit. I think I'm going to still stay in frame here. Yeah, you can still see me. Okay, this other table is also yours to work as a wearables person because you need a space to be able to cut fabric out, okay? So underneath here, we've got three more boxes. We've got the fabric and stuffing box, okay? And then we've got two more smaller ones. Uh, one is where you have small pieces of fabric and then other is where you will be putting your current projects because if you can't finish it in one class period, you need a place to put it. You don't want it getting mixed up with all the fabric junk here. So just put it into here and maybe take one of the chalks and maybe put your initials on it. I think some students just put, yeah, see there, they put their name on it there because you might be making a pillow and so are seven other people making pillows. So you don't want to get yours mixed up. And then that chalk will rub off, okay? So it's really easy to clean off. So yeah, that's where you'll keep your, your current project in the current, current project box. Small fabrics, those are great. Let me put those underneath. And then the last thing I want to talk to you about in this whole area is when it's time to cut a piece of fabric. Okay, so let's say I need a little square. So here's your fabric right here, and it's going to work for what I need. You know, maybe, maybe I need a piece of square this big. Let's say, was that 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters? Then you kind of find what you want, and then what you want to do is measure with the ruler, which of course, there are rulers inside the sewing stuff box, and you would measure off of an edge. Now this edge has uh, like a border on it, so I might want to measure in, like say, 15 centimeters in and then 10, and then I would cut off five centimeters at the end. What you don't want to do is you don't want to cut from the middle of fabric, okay? Because you always, the edge is your friend. The edge is that straight part. If you want to just start cutting from somewhere in the middle, I mean, who knows if that's straight, right? That's for sure that's not straight there. It's a jaggedy edge. So the edge is your friend. Always cut from the edge, never cut from the middle of it. Uh, even if you need something, uh, you know, like I said, even if this little border here, what I would do is I'd just cut from the edge. Let's say, let's pretend I measured it all out and I could cut in, okay, as far as I want, and then cut out. Usually, sometimes it's, it's out to another edge, right? Because if, if I just take this piece here, my little 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, Okay, there, I've got my 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, and then I'm gonna cut off this border here so that it is uh, more colorful for where I want it. Okay, so there, there I've got my little, my little square. But look what I've left, you see where I've cut my hole from? 
Um, I, so I've got this little leftover thing here. You might want to just trim those off nice and straight. Throw it in the small fabric thing. Let me just trim this off a little bit right here. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's small fabric. Anything kind of smaller than a, a dinner plate, put it in small fabric. So now at least there's something there for the next person to come and use if they need it. And uh, here again, another piece of small fabric and then you got what you want. So uh, that kind of explains the area. Please always cut from edges, never from the middle. And that, uh, that covers it. Uh, enjoy sewing. Here you go. Good luck.